What is going on guys? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. As you can see here, we have the new Samsung Galaxy Watch. We've used it now for the past about a week or so ago and have some thoughts I want to give you guys. First off, if you haven't seen my comparison video that I did between the Galaxy Watch and the SD Frontier, check that out because I touched on a lot of the details there. But as a quick synopsis, is that while these two watches look the same between this and last year's S3, there are some big improvements on battery life with the new Galaxy Watch. I'm not sure if it's the hardware or the software, but TZen 4.0 uh, is a huge upgrade and an improvement over its predecessor on the S3 Classic and Frontier. It feels just so much more smooth than even my S3 did, and honestly, I've had quite a few of... Uh, Android Wear watches, and I right now currently used to use my Tag Heuer Connected Modular 45, and this operating system is so much smoother. Uh, it's amazing. There's hardly any lag or anything to it when you are actually, uh, whether you want to voice type, uh, message back to somebody, or even just scrolling through the apps. Uh, it's awesome. I would even go further on record saying that it's faster and more reliable. For you guys that follow my channel, you'll know I do love smartwatches. I've lost count how many I even have and have reviewed over the last few years. Um, now, this can all change, obviously, when the new wearable chip comes out in September. But as of right now, this is a winner. They are definitely on to something. The, the new chip that's going to be coming out is going to be a huge upgrade over the old chip that is almost two or two and a half years old now. I would definitely recommend this watch over any other wearable in the market right now. You have plenty of options on case sizes. Uh, if you'd rather have a 42 or 46 millimeter, you can choose Bluetooth or LTE. Your options are definitely there. The screen is definitely, definitely, definitely bright and vibrant. Let me go ahead and unlock this. If I can put my right password in. So... I am in a well-lit room right now. You can see this is actually pretty bright compared to the ambient lighting around it. I've had no problems with it at all, um, especially in direct sunlight. It's The readability is all there. The bands are obviously interchangeable, just like they were on the S3 Classic and Frontier, and they are all a standard 22 millimeter size band, so there's numerous, numerous options out there as well. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Whereas opposed to some of them have fixed bands like the Movado Connect and all that. You cannot replace them. I have noticed that the bezel that rotates does unfortunately collect many more scratches than my uh, S3 did unfortunately. Yes, you can wipe them off. However, I have noticed that. So if you work in a field where you work with your hands and they're going to get, uh, you know, you're going to rub up against shelving or something else with this. Keep that in mind, unfortunately. You can wipe it off, like I said. However, I just wanted to let you know, I did not notice this on my S3. It's a minor detail, but I just something I wanted to let you all to take note of. For those of you that follow your heart rate and all that, the sensor on the back is definitely more accurate and can always be on, unlike the S3. The S3, you had to activate it every time you wanted to run your heart rate, you had to press a button. This can continuously read your heart rate, heart rate kind of like the Apple Watch does as well. Um, another thing I did like about this watch, I do like the new your day briefing that you get every day. You take your watch off the charger. It gives you a rundown of your day, um, where it's pretty nice to see your weather, any calendar appointments or anything of that nature that's going on right on that one notification screen without having to scroll through each app. Uh, it's pretty cool. One thing I didn't touch on also, let me unlock this again, are all the variety of watch faces that do come pre-installed. Obviously, you can get new ones from the App Store as well. But they have something for everybody, I would say. So, there's that Galaxy app option that I was telling you about as well. Um, the only other thing that I really want to touch on is if you are going to use this as a running and exercise watch, the GPS does work well. And there's not much else to say about this. It tracked it pretty accurately on a couple mile run that I did. Overall, I would definitely say this is a great upgrade that Samsung put out. Having said that, if you have an S3, you might not need to upgrade coming from an older generation or an Android Wear device. This is definitely a watch you should look at. So keep that in mind, guys. If you're not familiar with TZen, look it up. 4.0, like I said, is actually, it is a huge improvement. I, I love how smooth and how accurate everything is on this. Never had a problem. 
keep it in mind guys if there's anything specifically you would like to see with this watch and what else it can do let me know again this is the LTE model I decided to go with this just in case I decide not to want to carry my phone around with me or especially if I'm in the pool I'd like to be able to get my notifications and respond as well lastly Bigsby is included on this that is a huge upgrade over the S voice that used to be on all the gear watches in the past definitely works a lot better I de definitely use it now as opposed to the S, S voice I never could rely on it at all leave a comment down below if there's anything else you guys would like to know thumbs up this video guys and don't forget to subscribe to the channel Till next time.